how would you describe the frustration as a whole when it comes to this Yankees offense? Describe the frustration. Um, Uh, can't really describe it. You know, we're all frustrated all around because we know the type of talent we have. You know, we know our skill set. Um, you know what we're capable of doing. Um, we've seen glimpses of it. We've had opportunities. And, um, you know, we're just not just not producing, you know, as a whole. You know, some nights, you know, one guy will have a great game and then the rest of all the rest of us are, you know, not doing our job. And then one game, you know, a couple guys will pick it up. Then, you know, nobody else will, you know, kind of support them. So it's just... Just about kind of getting us all clicking on the same, you know, getting us on the same page and um, going back to what we do best is which is, you know, wearing down pitchers. You know, that's what makes this team so great and so successful at the plate is we're a team that can control the zone, um, grind out at bats and really just get pitchers pitch counts up and then they make mistakes and, you know, we do damage on them. So we just got to get back to doing that and uh, just turn the ship around. Are you surprised it's taken so long to do that, to grind down pitchers, find consistency as a group offensively? No, nah, not really. You know, each team, you know, every great team, you know, goes through a stretch like this, you know, throughout the season, you know, especially playing 162. Um, you know, we'd kind of be talking about the same thing if this happened in June. You know, if we started off hot in April and all of a sudden in June hit a rough, you know, patch of, you know, five, ten games, you know, we, we'd be talking about the same kind of thing, but it's just uh, – you never want to start off that way. So um, we just got to just get back on track, you know, take it one pitch at a time because um, it could be our last. And, you know, it's, it's the type of mindset we got to go into. Next one from Marley Rivera. Uh, Hi, Aaron. Oh, go, go on. That, you know what, Ken, go ahead. I'll mute. Yeah, I was unmuted. Um, Aaron, just was going to ask you how much you feel this is a snowball effect, you know, kind of building upon itself. And with each game, there's more pressing and, and more stress when you guys do get an opportunity. Yeah, I think it's kind of the same thing as hitting is contagious. You know, when one guy gets a hit, you know, you kind of feed off that and you can kind of get rolling, you know. And sometimes when nobody's getting hits, it kind of, you kind of feed off of that too. Uh, but I think it just goes back to, you know, guys need to take their walks. You know, if you're not going to get pit if you're going to get pitched around, you're not going to get pitches to hit. Um, you know, take your walk, and you know we got to treat every at bat. You know, from our first at bat, you know, like it's you know, you know, bottom nine games on the line. You know, we didn't bring that intensity from the from the very first pitch of the game, and um, you know, I think if we keep if we keep bringing that intensity, something that we've been missing. I think that'll you know kind of help turn us around. You got six walks tonight, so you, I mean, you feel like that that's that's going okay. It seems right. At least tonight it did, right? Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know if six walks is good or not or, or what, but um, we just got to continue to wear pitchers down and you know hit the mistakes when we can when we wear them down and um, just capitalize. Thanks, sir. Mm -hmm. Marley, you have the next question. Thanks, Michael. Aaron. I just uh, asked Aaron Boone, how do you guys remain positive through all of this? And he said because he believes in you guys. But what have you seen so far that tells you that you guys can get out of the slump? Well, I've seen every guy in the lineup, you know, have a great game. You know, I've seen every guy, you know, from DJ all the way down to Frazier, you know, have two or three hits, you know, have some great at-bats, work in the count, get a walk, you know. So it's now it's just about us collectively, you know, having those great at-bats, um, driving guys in when we can um, as a team, you know, and that's, you know, one thing we've been missing, you know, not coming up with a big hit, you know, a guy will walk, a guy will get a hit, and all of a sudden it's either ground ball, double play, or, you know, we kind of kill the rally with a strikeout or something like that. So, you know, I've seen every single guy in this lineup, you know, have a big game for us and, you know, come through when we need them. And now it's just about us, you know, trusting each other and um, just getting to work, you know. And you know, I think the big thing is, like I was, like I've been saying, is when, we as a whole, you know, have great team at bats. You know, that's when we win ball games. You know, if I go up there and I don't get the job done, you know, I got to trust that the guy behind me is going to go up there and, you know, pick me up, you know, and we just got to kind of get back into that mindset and, you know, stay on the hunt, stay on the attack. And if you don't get it and you don't get the job done, you know, pass it.